Hey, get this, 14 and 17 year old brothers, already owners and CEOs of their very own company. <laughs> Not bad. Well, the boys are teenage brothers from South Jordan and their first product is already a big hit. Tonight we take you inside the story of the Wolfham Stick. And Dan Ruscone joins us now. What exactly is a Wolfham Stick? This is a Wolfham Stick right here. You may ask still, what is it? Yeah, right. right. <laughs> We're going to tell you that. It's a dessert, basically, that you can make at a campfire. It starts with a biscuit and is topped off with some whipping cream. And these brothers are hoping that Wolfham becomes the new s'mores. It's called the sweatshop. We spend lots of hours in here without getting paid. This is company headquarters for two brothers, Tanner and Spencer Harrison, just 14 and 17 years old, already owners and CEOs. I was really impressed with how many not just copies sold. How many, like hundreds? Of their own company called Wolfham Sticks, which they assemble. We brand the handles right here. One at a time. We bend the metal right here. Hour after hour. We put the middle handle on. We also put the set screw collar to hold it on. Day after day. Right here we put on the packaging. Month after month. What is a woofum? It's a great campfire dessert. So here's how it works. You take your biscuits, pop it. You place the dough on the wooden dowel. Then you bake them for about three to five minutes. Fill them. And then you woof them. Wow, that's actually really good. And we call them Wolfhams because they taste so good that you wolf them down. I can cook them way faster than you can. The Wolfham story started last year. The boys were in an entrepreneur class and were desperate for an idea and came up with the Wolfham stick from their camping days. The numbers, and we saw that it could actually turn into something pretty big. Their business plan won a state competition, and then the boys took second place in a national competition. It was a hit. We just started going to fairs and selling products to everyone that wanted one. Last year they sold 1,500 of them. This year their goal is 5,000. Well, we have some, some big goals. I'm not sure how long it'll take, but I could see the Wolfham becoming up there with s'mores. This is 2.0? Yeah, 2.0. <laughs> Original designs included a plastic bucket handle and wooden sewing spools. Now the boys are having their first photo shoot with a marketing company. <laughs> They'll be packaging their product for the store shelves. Our company's just gearing up for this next year of sales. A class project a working business plan, now two teenage brothers, owners of Campfire Industries. I think we can make Wolfham Sticks a common household item. That's right, these boys have some big plans. Now the boys, Wolfham Sticks, sell at Motorsports Land in Murray for $10 a piece, but they just got a deal with IFA Stores, which has 25 locations, and they hope to have them on the shelves by the end of the month. The boys have also won an invitation to be on Shark Tank if their business actually really starts to take off. For more information on this story, you can go to our website, KUTV.com, and click on Inside the Stories.